Hello and welcome to Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits Reviews. Today, um, the cider listings for the Robin Hood Beer Festival have been released. So, there's a quick rundown of some of the interesting ciders. So, starting from A, Ash River Cider Company. They've got a Derbyshire Vintage Cider, 7%. Um, keep going down. Smoking Barrels from the Blue Barrel Cider Nottingham. Six and a half percent, and it's a distinct, lingering caramel oak flavour, medium dry. From Bottle Kicking Cider, uh, they're doing a range of six, six percent to seven percent ciders. Nothing overly interesting, just standard ciders really. Charmwood Cider, theirs range from five point five to six percent. Same again, just normal middle of the range ciders there. Looking for more unusual ciders. Churchill cider, they're going to be there. They've got two ciders uh, a dry cider and a medium cider. Eve's cider from Kettering North Ants. They've got three ciders a 5.8, 6.2, and another 6.2. Um, one's a blended cider from Dessert and Cider Apples. Farmer Fear cider from Sutton Bonington and Knotts. I've got a cloudy apple at 7.2 uh, and three at 5.5. Gladstone cider, 6.5% uh, medium cider made from Loughborough. Har Harefield cider in Northampton. They've got Press and Forget, which is a yeah, a zesty cider at 5.5%. Um, Healy's of Winwalk, they've got three ciders. Same, just middle of the road ciders. Neveton cider, same again, three middle of the road ciders, trying to pick out interesting, you know, magpie cider from Nottingham, so obviously the magpie group, magpie brewery, they've got some ciders, uh, all Nottinghamshire ciders, uh, nothing interesting, you know, uh, Monkey Bridge cider, they've got 6.7% cider called Across the Bridge, Oakfield Farm cider, they've got 6% cider, Sisson and Smith from Eastwood in Nottingham. Now these these have got an interesting one. Gabinet, it's a SV, whatever that is. Fruity cider, 7.6%, low acidity with good astringency, whatever that means. Uh, they've got a full juice cider from various apple varieties, 6.7%. Uh, Eastwood Perry, 6.8% from pears grown in D. H. Lawrence country. Skidbrook Cider, they've got a uh, Captain Cobbler, 6% sweeter, scrumpy style cider. Um, they've got another three ciders. Oh, got an interesting one. Uh, vintage Dry, 6%, aged in solid oak casks until more than three years old. That sounds interesting. Snenton Cider, uh, medium sweet cider from them, 6.5%. Starky Cider from Southall, 6.5%, uh, made from Bramley and Cox apple juice. Free Cat Cider and they've got free all at 6.7%. Vale of Welton they've got an interesting one at 7.5% a strong medium dry blended cider called Poachers. Wharf Cider middle of the road ciders really. Uh, Woodman Cider they've got one at 6.3, 5.7, 6.8 You've got Woody's Cider, same me, you know, basically middle of the road ciders, all all six percent from the Welsh producers bar. You've got um, from Berrier, medium cider, and it doesn't say the strength. Brecon Beacon Cider, they've got a Beast of the Beacons at seven and a half percent strong dry cider using wild yeast. That sounds interesting. Um, they've all got a Pear Cider at five point two percent. CJ Cider, they've got a dry blended cider at 6%, uh, another one at 6.1 and one at 5. Dan Yi Greig, they've got a five year old vintage cider at 5.8%. Ooh, that'd be, that should be interesting for that for cider lovers. Um, D Cider, have got three ciders, all middle of the road to be fair. Uh, Geffins, they've got two ciders, both middle of the road ciders. Uh, Hallett's from Carefilly in South Wales, 
they've got a rum cask cider 5.6% medium cider uh, aged in rum cask that sounds interesting they've got PX limited edition which is a medium cider finished in old sherry barrels again very interesting and they've also got heartbreaker at 7% which is a classic dry blended cider Lan Bleffian Orchids they've got two um, both called Bulmers funnily enough strange called Bulmers make sure and if there's any um, trademarks being infringed both at 7.6% one's a fruity medium cider and one's a sweet so good strength uh, Mono Valley Cider um, all around about the 6.5% nothing interesting you know that out, stands out from the medium medium of the road middle of the road ciders Old Monty Brewery got a cider Orchards Brockware in Chepstow, they've got five ciders. Uh, nothing, there's no um, ABV on any of them. Palmer's Upland Cider, there's three ciders from them. Again, surprisingly, not many actual fruit ciders. It's all pears or, or apples, quite interesting. Uh, Penalt Cider, a Glen, another pear cider from them. Ponty Medici. From Pembroke, they've got four ciders again, all middle of the road ciders. Rosie's Triple D, uh, all about the six, six and a half percent. Uh, nothing interesting, but four ciders from them. Sedi Osir, these pronunciations are rubbish. Uh, two ciders from them in the six percent range. Uh, nothing outstanding, I'm afraid. Um, Three Saints. It says here Kingston Black. It doesn't tell you the strength. An S a SV cider from this much sought bitter sharp apple. So then uh, they've, they've, they've six ciders from them. Troggy from Earlswood, Monmouthshire. Five ciders from them, them, and one that's seven point four percent. And I'm not even going to bother. It's Saint St. Tello cider, cider or whatever. But yeah, seven point four percent. T Y Burn. Um, they've got about the best ones a 6.8% traditional cider with high tannins Williams Brothers they've got a growler a 7.9% highest I've seen so far I think uh, mature cider uh, aged in oak casks they've, they're doing three so there's another there's some more I'm only halfway through this so far uh, rest of UK producers so uh, from somewhere in Southampton, there's two ciders there, six and a half percent, nothing interesting. From Barburn, they've got a five and a half percent. Barkers have got a six percent called Burp Perry. <laughs> Barleywood Orchid, they've got a medium cider. You know, it doesn't. You want something that's going to, you know, shout out to you, don't you? Because that's what beer festivals are about. Bartistry Cider Company have got two. Um, again, nothing that smacks me. Bear Cider, they've got a 6.5%. Bridge Farm have got six different ciders, basically all middle of the road. Butford Organics, they've got a organic Perry. Chucklehead have got a medium cider. Cider by Rosie, they're bringing out a medium dry cider. Cider Nix, um, they've got a 7% medium dry cider, uh, heavy with Harry Masters Jersey Apples. Um, they've got five from them. Cranbourne Chase, there's one from them, it's a six percenter. Uh, Crossman's, another six percenter. Dorset Nectar, there's three from them, five and a half percent top strength. Dorset Star uh, Brewery, they've got three again. Um, one called First Press, which is a farmhouse scrumpy from seven apple varieties. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, Ganley and Nash, they've got two ciders out. Grey's, they've got a cider, but no details at the moment. Green Man Cider, they've got an oak aged medium blend cider at 6.5% called Oak King. Um, nothing interesting in the other four. Green Valley Cider, I've got a Rum Tiddly Tum, which is a medium cider conditioned in rum and aged in rum casks. And they've got vintage 7.5%, that was 7.5%. Medium dry cider from vintage apple varieties, so both sound interesting. Grumpy John's has got two ciders. Hancock's have got a cider, no details. Harry's cider, two 6.2% ciders. 
uh, Haywood Cider Farm, two six percenters. Hex, uh, I've got 14 ciders. Wow, anything interesting. So they've got an extra dry SV, classic old bitter sharp cider apple at 7.5%. Um, they've got a smoky cider. And mainly a middle of the road uh, offerings from them. Heron Valley have got a cider, one cider, no details. Hitchcock's have got four ciders. Ah, one is oak aged farmhouse cider, 8.1%. That's got some kick to it. A dry, traditional cider aged in oak casks. Hunts have got one cider. King Brain, they've got two ciders, middle of the road. I won't go into any details unless it's interesting. Lawrence has I've got one cider. Lulworth Skipper have got four ciders. Um, Marshwood Vale have got five ciders. Yep. Mayfair Cider, they're bringing out four. My Nurse Cider, they have two from them. Napton Cidery, there's one from them. Still no real fruity ciders. Uh, two ciders from New Forest Cider. Newton Court, one cider from them. Oliver's, four ciders from them. Uh, an interesting one, Whiskey Cask Dabinet, uh, Bittersweet Cider aged in old whiskey barrels. That sounds really interesting. Awkward Revival, they've got three ciders. Mm, again, nothing too interesting. Paget's, they've got four ciders. Uh, one which is a 7% called Golden Slipper. Blended cider from a new cider maker. Uh, Parsons Choice, they've got a medium cider. Perry's Cider, one cider. Uh, Press Ed Cider, they've got five brand, five uh, there. Best, in, most interesting one is Brown Snout, uh, light fragrant cider uh, at 7%. Red right Away, they've got one cider, no details. Riches have got two ciders at 6%. Riddle Cider, um, again, just one cider there, no details. Ross Cider, I've got four ciders, ones which is an oak cask cider, 7%. Now that does sound interesting. Seb Cider, again four ciders, nothing overly uh, interesting. Secret Orchid, two ciders from them. Simon Cider, five from them, including one called Cox. A medium SV Cox Cider, three times winner at the Cambridge Festival and 8.4%. That's the best so far. Stone's Bittersweet Cider, two from them. Trenchmere Farm, uh, one from them. Twinway Cider, one from them, no details at all. Twigwin, one from them. Udders Orchid, uh, four from them, including another 8.1% called Cox again, so from Cox Apples. Venton Cider, nothing interesting there, three from them. Wessex Cider, one from them. West Milton, two from them. Again, nothing outstanding. Westcroft, um, two from them. Wilkins, one from them. Wiscom Cider, one from them. Wallis, uh, five ciders from them. Nothing else, you know, that kicks anything from them. Uh, Yard, a real draft cider, one from them. Urban Farm Fermentory from America. Oh, six and a half percent rum aged cask cider interesting so now we go to the bars uh, magpie brewery bar magpie is a nottingham brewery and they've got four ciders they've got coppice dry hedgerow nottingham blend and wild wood castle rocks brewery bar they've got um they've actually got some from different areas they've got two from wallies one from Wilkins, one from Venton Cider, one from Ross Cider, one from Orchid Revival, one from Hitchcock's, one from Hex, one from Hallett's, and one from Dan Ye Greig. So, all in all, there are 286 cider varieties. Wow, that's a fantastic. It's going to be such a great uh, festival. Starts on Wednesday uh, next week. Uh, this being the 11th, so it starts, when does it start? Ugh. 17th of October. And that's the cider list. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon.
I'll see you down there if you're there on Friday. <laughs>